Good day, grade 10. This is your revision for chapter 2, day 10, worksheet 10, about exponents solve for x. So you have to do um, the you have to do the worksheet, and now we are going to work on the memo. So let me just open my worksheet here. Number one is 2 to the power of x plus 12 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now when I see that x is an exponent, I need to make the bases the same. So I'm going to take that 16 and um, get its prime factors. To get the prime factors, I can use the shift fact button on my calculator or I can just know that 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So it's 2 to the power x plus 12, and then that 16 I substitute with 2 to the power of 4. Only the 16 gets substituted with 2 to the power of 4 to the power of x. So then I have 2 to the power x plus 12, and that 4 and the x gets multiplied, so it becomes 2 to the power 4x. Now I can use only the exponents. I can get rid of the bases because when the bases are the same I can just go on with the exponent so it's x plus 12 is equal to 4x so then I get all the x's on the one side and all the numbers on the other side so it's x minus 4x is equal to negative 12 then negative 3x, x minus 4x is negative 3x is equal to negative 12. To, to, to get x alone I divide by negative 3 so it's negative 12 divided by negative 3 which is positive 4. So x is 4. Then number 2.2 5 to the power x times 25 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 1. So it's 5 to the power of x. Then I substitute 25 with 5 squared to the power x plus 1 is equal to 1. Now, that 2 I'm going to multiply in with the x and the 1. So it's going to look like this. 5 to the power 2x plus 2. I multiplied it in. So then, now I have the same basis. When the bases are the same, I can add the exponents. So it's going to be x plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 5 to the power of 0. I tried to get the right side also 5 to the power of something. Remember, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So I can substitute 1 with 5 to the power of 0. Then now the bases are the same. So I can get rid of the bases and just use the exponents. So 3x plus 2 will be equal to 0. Then I get 3x on the left side, take the 2 over, it becomes negative 2. And then I divide by 3 to get x alone, so it's negative 2 over 3. That's the answer. Number 2.3. 2 to the power x plus 2 plus 5 times 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power x plus 14. So... Now, I, I split them and give each of the exponents their own base. So that x plus 2 becomes 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power 2. Ach, times 2 to the power 2. Plus 5 times 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 40. Now, I'm going to find a common factor. I find a common factor of 2 to the power x. Can you see that each term has a 2 to the power x? So I'm going to take that out as a common factor, 2 to the power x, then I'm left inside the bracket with 2 squared plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 40. Why is there a 1 there? Because when I take out the whole term, a 1 is left in its place because when I take something out it's like dividing. So it's 2 to the power x times 2 squared plus 5 plus 1 is 10 is equal to 40. To get rid of the 10, I divide by 10 on the other side. 40 divided by 10. So it's 2 to the power x is equal to 4. 2 to the power x 
is equal to 2 squared. So I make the bases the same, 2 squared. Now I am I have the bases the same, so I can only work with the exponents. So x is equal to 2. Number 2.5. 2 x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 54. First, I want to get rid of that 2, so I divide by 2 on the other side. So it's x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 54 divided by 2, which is 27. Now, to get rid of the 3 over 2, I'm going to make it to the power of 2 over 3. On both sides. When I do that on the left side, I also need to do it on the right side. So... Remember, when I have a power to a power, I multiply those powers with one another. So here is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 is equal to 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. So I'm left with x to the power of 1. That's what I want because that's just x. To get x alone, I'm going to multiply or actually have a power of the reciprocal of the original power. So on the other side it's also going to be 27 to the power 2 over 3. Now that becomes x is equal to then I get 27 to the power 2 over 3 on my calculator is 9. Then 2.6 5x to the power 3rd minus 6x to the power, power 6 plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is what I call the K method. Okay, so I'm going to use the K method. Some of you don't use the K method, that's also alright. Then you just um, skip a few of my steps. So I say let K be equal to x to the power 6. So let me just change that Afrikaans to English. Let k be equal to x is over x to the power one over six. Then k squared is x to the power of six squared. So remember, I multiply those. Um, powers with one another so it becomes x to the power 2 over 6 which is equal to x to the power 1 over 3. So everywhere where I see x to the power 3rd I can substitute it with k squared and everywhere where I see x to the power 6 I can substitute it with k. Let's do that. It's going to be 5 then I have x to the power 3rd so it's going to be k squared minus 6 and then x to the power 1 over 6 is k plus 1 is equal to 0. Now I have a simple trinomial to factorize. So I factorize it and I get 5k minus 1 and k minus 1. Because I have two brackets equal to 0, I'm going to let each of them be equal to 0. So it's 5k minus 1 is equal to 0 or k minus 1 is equal to 0. So then I get k alone. So 5k is equal to 1. So k is equal to 1 over 5. What was k again? k was x to, uh, to the power of a 6. So then I change it back to x to the power of a 6 and it becomes x to the power of 6 is equal to 1 over 5. To get rid of the power of a 6, I get to the power of 6 on both sides. So it's x is equal to 1 fifth to the power of 6. And that is equal to 1 over 1 5 6 2 5. So that's the one answer for x. On the other side I have k is equal to 1. What was k again? x to the power 1 over 6. So it that is equal to 1. Then I get to the power of 6 on both sides. And 1 to the power of 6 just stays 1. Number 
5 to the power of 3x is equal to 25 to the power of x plus 1. Okay, so first I have to get the prime factors of 25, which is 5 squared to the power of x plus 1. Now I multiply in, so it's 5 to the power 2x plus 2. Now I have the basis the same, so I can only use the exponents. 3x is equal to 2x plus 2. I bring the 2x over to the left side. 3x minus 2x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2. Then number 2.8. 2 to the power 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, 0,5 to the power of 3 minus x. So what I have here is a decimal, so I'm going to change that to a common fraction. 0, 0,5 is a half to the power of 3 minus x. Now I don't like that fraction that I have there. To get rid of the fraction, I had 2 to the power 1 below the fraction line. So that, when I get rid of the fraction, it goes to the top and it becomes 2 to the power negative 1. 2 to the power negative 1 to the power of 3 minus x. Now I multiply that negative 1 in. On the left side it stays the same. Then on the right side I have 2 to the power negative 3 plus x. Now the bases are the same, so I can get rid of the bases and just use the exponents. 2x minus 3 is equal to negative 3 plus x. When I have x's on both sides, I take all the x's on to the left side and all the numbers to the right side. So it becomes 2x minus x is equal to negative 3 plus 3. 2x minus x is x and minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So x is 0. And that is it for your day 10 worksheet. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your teacher. The email addresses is on the website.